This is the Foxconn Technology Park located in Sha Ping Ba District, Chongqing. The once bustling park is now almost completely deserted. This massive factory, which once employed over 50,000 workers and was crowded during shift changes, has now become eerily quiet. Even the shops around Foxconn have shuttered their doors. The person filming the video commented, "It was once so glorious, but now it's so desolate." This Chongqing resident visited the Foxconn factory in March this year. Let's take a look at the situation back then through his lens. The once mighty Foxconn has now fallen from grace. The area is so sparsely populated that I can't see anyone around except myself. These are their dormitories, and just a short walk across this footbridge leads to the work area. It only takes a few minutes to get there. This is where they used to eat. Here's the entrance to the cafeteria. Foxconn is so deserted now. There are so many dormitories, but I don't see a single person on the road except me. Someone commented under the video, "I worked at Foxconn in 2012, and it was packed back then, with about 40,000 to 50,000 people." Our warehouse supervisor said that at its peak, they needed to hire 100,000 workers. I never expected it to be this quiet now. Foxconn's Chongqing factory, established in 2010, was primarily responsible for manufacturing notebook computers for major clients like HP, Apple, ASUS, and Huawei. At its peak in 2012, the Chongqing facility was reportedly producing 300 laptops per hour. But in recent years, there have been reports of Foxconn gradually shifting its operations, relocating equipment to factories in India and Vietnam, with much of the laptop production capacity following suit. Public data indicates that since 2016, the number of workers at Foxconn's Chongqing factory has been steadily declining. By 2020, the workforce had dwindled to less than 10,000, and by 2023, it had further reduced to around 3,000 employees, with numbers continuing to fall. Many industry insiders now believe that Foxconn may completely abandon the Chongqing facility. As one of HP's notebook manufacturing partners, Foxconn's relocation from Chongqing also corroborates a widely circulated rumor that HP is shifting its laptop production out of China. On August 7th, Nikkei Asia reported, citing sources that HP, the world's second-largest personal computer manufacturer, is seeking to move more than half of its PC production out of China. This year alone, HP is expected to relocate production capacity for several million laptops from China, with the number potentially reaching up to five million units. Sources also reveal that HP aims to produce 70% of its notebooks outside of China and is establishing a backup design center in Singapore to diversify its supply chain and mitigate geopolitical risks. The news has sparked widespread attention, especially considering that HP, which shipped 55.2 million PCs in 2023, predominantly relied on manufacturing in Chongqing by companies such as Quanta, Compul, Inventec, and Foxconn. As recently as September 20th of last year, the Chongqing Municipal Government celebrated the production of the 400 millionth Chongqing-made HP computer. Just as iPhones are crucial to Henan's foreign trade, laptops are a pillar industry for Chongqing. Data shows that in 2021, Chongqing produced over 100 million laptops, generating more than 400 billion yuan in output value. For eight consecutive years, Chongqing has ranked first globally in laptop production, accounting for 40 percent of the market, solidifying its status as a true global hub for laptop manufacturing. This achievement is largely due to HP being the first to bring the entire laptop production chain to Chongqing. We've previously reported that the relocation of Apple's supply chain led to a reduction in orders from major supplier Foxconn, causing Henan Province's exports to drop by 30 percent in the first quarter. It stands to reason that if HP's production lines were to leave China, along with a subsequent impact on the supply chain, it would likely deal a significant blow to Chongqing's local economy. On August 8th, HP quickly responded to the situation, stating that China remains a very important part of its global supply chain, and the company remains committed to its production operations in Chongqing. But HP did not entirely dismiss the possibility of diversifying some of its manufacturing to overseas locations. 
While HP has actively sought to clarify the situation, the rumors of its potential exit from China are not without basis. According to Nikkei Asia, multiple sources have revealed that HP is in talks with suppliers, planning to shift production lines over the next two to three years. The scale of changes required by each supplier will depend on the complexity of the components they handle. Reports indicate that Thailand is set to become HP's new primary PC production base, presenting a significant opportunity for them. At least five of HP's suppliers are currently constructing new manufacturing facilities or logistics centers in Thailand. Among them, two companies have been increasing their production capacity at HP's request since the beginning of this year. One supplier executive disclosed, "It's clear that HP is betting big on establishing a production base in Thailand. We had other facilities in Southeast Asia, but HP stated they weren't efficient enough. So we're now building a new factory in Thailand as per the requirements." Another executive from a component supplier mentioned that the company initially had concerns about the utilization rate of its Thai factory, but starting earlier this year, they began receiving more orders from HP, and now their business is quite busy. The report also highlighted that, in addition to relocating the manufacturing supply chain, HP is also seeking additional locations for its product design teams to further mitigate supply chain risks. Sources reveal that HP is hiring around 200 engineers and professionals in Singapore, including electrical and mechanical engineers and supply chain experts. This team will serve as a backup for HP's flagship design center in Taiwan, handling heavy new product development work and coordinating with the supply chain to address potential risks in case of a conflict in the Taiwan Strait. It has been reported that during internal company meetings, several HP executives have been emphasizing the emerging business opportunities in Southeast Asia and the Middle East. They also pointed out the geopolitical risks associated with keeping production centers in China. Notably, as early as July last year, there were media reports suggesting that HP was collaborating with suppliers to plan the relocation of the production of millions of consumer and commercial laptops to Thailand and Mexico. One supplier indicated that HP also plans to start moving part of its laptop production to Vietnam beginning in 2024. In fact, whether HP is withdrawing from China can also be inferred from the production and operational status of its manufacturing partners, such as Quanta, Compal, and Inventec. Quanta Computer Incorporated, a Taiwanese company, is the world's largest notebook computer manufacturer. According to incomplete statistics, at least one third of the world's laptops are produced by Quanta. Its Chongqing factory produces the most HP laptops. Over the past two years, many labor agencies in Chongqing have noted that Quanta is hiring fewer people, and the number of employees has significantly decreased from the previous 30,000 to 40,000 workers to around 10,000 now. Industry insiders have revealed that this is due to Quanta's clients. They considered the lockdown policies in China during the pandemic that disrupted normal production and delayed delivery times. Therefore, they have requested a shift of some production lines to places like Thailand in Southeast Asia to avoid the substantial losses caused by potential lockdowns. As HP is Quanta's largest customer, it remains uncertain whether HP is the client that requested Quanta to relocate its production lines. In addition to this, Inventec has also been rumored to be moving its notebook production lines to Mexico. Therefore, given the reduction in production capacity at HP's manufacturing partners in Chongqing, it seems increasingly apparent that HP may indeed be in the process of withdrawing from China. Let's take a look at HP's development history in China. HP was one of the earliest multinational companies to enter the Chinese market, with its presence dating back to 1977. During a meeting between then U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger and China's then leader Deng Xiaoping, Kissinger recommended HP. In 1983, Chinese authorities invited the entire HP board of directors to Beijing for talks. Following this, HP began preparing its investments in China. In 1985, China HP was established as a Sino-American joint venture in the high-tech sector. Although it was a joint venture, the company operated largely according to the model of a Chinese state-owned enterprise, in line with the policies of the time.
HP's entry into Chongqing began in 2008. At that time, the global financial crisis was unfolding, yet laptop sales were growing by more than 20 percent, despite the economic downturn. To meet market demand, HP planned to expand production globally, with potential sites in India, Malaysia, Indonesia, and several cities in China. Chongqing, which was eager to undergo structural adjustments and upgrade its industries, saw this as a rare business opportunity and set its sights on attracting HP, the global leader in laptop manufacturing. To attract HP to set up a factory in Chongqing, the city offered highly favorable terms that appealed to HP's executives. Within three years, Chongqing would produce an additional 40 million laptops, with 80 percent of the necessary components being locally sourced. If this promise was not fulfilled within the three-year period, Chongqing would subsidize all associated logistics costs. This attractive offer convinced HP to establish a production base in Chongqing with a target of producing 40 million computers. HP's decision was to choose Chongqing, an inland city in western China, over the more developed coastal manufacturing regions. It was influenced not only by the favorable terms, but also by China's western development strategy at the time. As a new frontier for opening up in the central and western regions, Chongqing offered several advantages, including favorable policies, strategic location, and abundant human resources, key factors that HP highly valued. HP's entry into Chongqing marked the beginning of the city's electronic information industry, transforming it from non-existence to a significant sector over time. In the electronics industry, manufacturing typically follows the orders. HP, as a major client, played a locomotive role, attracting other brands, manufacturers, and supporting companies to set up in Chongqing. The Chongqing municipal government initially used HP's orders to attract Foxconn, a global manufacturing giant. At the time, Foxconn had already established factories in several coastal cities like Shenzhen, making inland Chongqing less appealing. During negotiation, the Chongqing government made a compelling business offer. Foxconn, which had previously only manufactured components without assembling complete devices, would be granted the production of 15 million complete laptops if it set up operations in Chongqing. This opportunity surprised and delighted Foxconn, leading to a swift agreement. On August 4, 2009, Chongqing Municipal Government signed major project agreements with both HP and Foxconn Technology Group. These included the HP Chongqing Notebook Export Manufacturing Base and the Foxconn Chongqing Industrial Base, which were essentially complementary upstream and downstream projects. It is said that Chongqing demonstrated remarkable efficiency in welcoming Foxconn. After signing the agreement with Foxconn, it took only 50 days for the industrial base to officially break ground, setting a record for the shortest period from agreement signing to project commencement for a major project. The introduction of these two major projects laid the foundation for Chongqing's laptop industry. In April 2010, Taiwan's Quanta Group invested in the Xiyong Microelectronics Industrial Park in Chongqing, establishing Quanta Chongqing Manufacturing City. It primarily manufactures PC products for brands like HP, Acer, Asus, Huawei, Xiaomi, and also produces Apple wearable devices. At its peak, it was said that one out of every five laptops globally was produced by Chongqing Inventech. In 2022, Chongqing Inventech shipped 52 million PCs, generating an annual output value of 127.7 billion yuan, making it the second largest manufacturing company in Chongqing. Also in 2010, Taiwan's Inventech Corporation established a factory in Chongqing, which officially began production in November of that year. The factory primarily focused on designing, developing, and manufacturing laptops, medium to large computers, high-end servers, and new electronic components. In 2011, Compol, the world's second largest laptop manufacturer, established Compol Chongqing, primarily producing laptops. In 2017, Compol also founded Ibao in Chongqing, focusing on smart wearable devices and global bonded maintenance services. Subsequently, global personal computing and laptop giants like Asus, Acer, and Lenovo were also attracted to settle in Chongqing, transforming the city into a global hub for laptop production. 
Starting in 2021, Lenovo began shifting its PC production orders from Kunshan to Chongqing. Their plan is to gradually expand into the research, development, production, and maintenance of non-PC products such as Lenovo servers, tablets, and 5G devices. The establishment of these electronics manufacturing giants in Chongqing also spurred the growth of hundreds of upstream suppliers who set up factories in the city. According to a representative from Quanta Chongqing, the company has hundreds of direct suppliers upstream, with over 90% of them based in Chongqing. Last decade, HP's presence in Chongqing has driven significant growth in the city's electronics manufacturing industry, ultimately establishing Chongqing as a leading global exporter of personal computers. But the boom was short-lived. In 2018, as the U.S.-China tech war intensified, many large American tech companies accelerated their departure from China. Companies like Dell, Apple, and Microsoft began shifting portions of their PC production lines to Southeast Asia and invested more in marketing resources to develop local markets. Other leading PC manufacturers, such as Lenovo, Acer, and Asus, also started evaluating plans to withdraw from mainland China. HP soon joined the ranks of those relocating the production lines out of China. According to a report by Nikkei in July 2019, HP and Dell, the world's first and third largest personal computer manufacturers, plan to move 30% of their laptop production out of mainland China. It is important to note that in 2018, HP and Dell together sold around 70 million laptops worldwide, capturing 40% of the global market. HP's laptop shipments to North America accounted for 40% of its total output. Sources at the time indicated that HP was considering gradually establishing a new supply chain in Thailand or Taiwan, with the possibility of starting the relocation process by the end of the third quarter of 2019. A Chongqing government official told Nikkei at the time that HP had lowered its 2019 production forecast to less than 10 million laptops, about half of its output two years earlier. The primary reasons were the rising production costs in mainland China, which led to a decrease in global orders and the added uncertainty caused by the trade war, which further exacerbated the situation. At the same time, major contract manufacturers such as Quanta, Foxconn, and Inventec have already relocated parts of the production from China to Taiwan, Mexico, and the Czech Republic. This move was aimed at avoiding the threat of additional tariffs and alleviating customers' concerns about security risks. Additionally, manufacturers of other products, such as servers, networking equipment, and some critical electronic components, have also begun shifting production out of mainland China. The supply chain shifts prompted by the U.S.-China trade war were far from over when the pandemic struck. The strict lockdowns enforced by the Chinese government severely disrupted factory production, further exacerbating the risks associated with China's supply chain. This prompted these electronics industry giants to accelerate their departure from China. Earlier this year, HP's decision to dissolve its subsidiary in Shanghai fueled speculation that the company might be gradually withdrawing from mainland China. On January 18, a post on NetEase mentioned that plans for HP to relocate its production capacity had already surfaced at the beginning of 2023. An unnamed source revealed that HP had convened several electronic manufacturing suppliers to outline a clear relocation plan. The plan indicated that HP would move its business class laptop production lines to Mexico, primarily to supply the high-end consumer market in North America, and transfer its consumer-grade laptop production lines to Thailand, targeting the European and Asia-Pacific markets, including China. At the same time, HP has been increasing its investments in Vietnam and India. Reports confirm that in August 2023, HP submitted an application to the Indian government to build a new factory, signaling a rapidly accelerating pace of production relocation. In this process, many companies within the supply chain are also following suit, making this trend undeniable.
Data shows that in 2023 alone, HP's laptop production outside of China exceeded 5 million units, accounting for 10% of HP's global output. This clear plan for industrial relocation and the concrete steps taken to implement it strongly indicate the authenticity of these reports. Commenting on this, Professor Frank Shia, a professor at the University of South Carolina, Aiken, analyzed that HP's decision to move its production lines out of China is part of a larger global trend of industries abandoning China as the world's factory. Professor Shia pointed out that HP, along with many other Western companies, is now leaving China en masse. The era of China being the world's factory is essentially over. Regarding the global shift in the tech industry's supply chain, former JD.com CEO Xu Lei remarked, If we still think that we are just in an economic downturn cycle, then we are gravely mistaken. This should be seen as the end of one era and the beginning of another. Cycles and eras are fundamentally different in nature.